Hey guys, I have just grabbed Paul here for five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, I don't know. Uh, we're at a secret location uh, somewhere underground uh, in the Surrey Hills. Um, That's in England. In England. Yeah. Uh, we've got a little Paul Smith event this evening, Paul's over. Uh, I was just saying to you before, your feet have not touched the ground since I last saw you at the NAM show. Yeah, we've been very busy. Slightly busy. So, I don't need to ask you why you've been so busy, but you might as well tell people why you've been so busy. Because I'm trying to get here, <laughs> just to be with you. If you're referring to all the keyboard courage that's been going on the internet around this thing that I'm playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, don't apologize. That sounds good. It does sound good. It's a, it's a great guitar. You get your hands on the guitar. Um, What's Did you guys that? do a video on it? We've done a video. It's been our, so far in 2018, it's been the biggest video we've done in 2018. It's had more comments than you can imagine. Uh, you would think that, uh, you would think that from the reaction, uh, it's been you, 82%. you'd killed someone's grandmother or something. You well, know, I, did, I, did, um, <laughs> I did kill somebody's grandmother. It, uh, it's been 82% positive, yes. but the comments have been the other way. I, you know, uh, it's, it's By the way, all the reviews that yeah. people got in the hands of the guitars, love them. There's one review on where the guy picks his 66 up at the end, yeah. and he's like, oh, it's a lot quieter. I mean, he was shocked. Uh, it's, well, it's, that was very good. I, I, I think you, you, the, the, everything speaks for itself, doesn't it? The, 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 all the reviews have been very positive. The, the back orders for the guitar are, it's an impossible number to even comprehend how you're going to build all these. Um, I'm going to build them evenly and make sure that the first one is uh, is as good as the last one, and the last one's better than the first one. Yeah. No, I, and uh, as, That's as not, you that, always will. With well, all. we've had to up production 20 times. I don't think, everybody's like, well, quality's gonna go down. No, it's not. No. We're gonna be extraordinarily careful and guard and guard after what's important. No, and, that, and I think if, if what we know about Paul Reed Smith guitars is that's something that you won't, uh, you won't compromise on, on quality no just to, to hit a, a number. Look, everything on this guitar was retooled. We retooled the tuning pegs uh, with the buttons. We retooled the locks. We did the nut. We did the neck shape, which was the only thing that welled me up during the whole thing because I put my hand around it and went, well, that's been the first time. That's been tooled in 50 years. <laughs> um, we redid, redid the birds. We redid the, uh, the way the truss rod works. We did the pickups. We did the covers. We did the knobs. We did the switch tip. We did the... Uh, scratch plate, we did the, the body, the way the paint was done, uh, the saddles, the uh, plate, the block, the input jack, everything was retooled. Yeah. What can uh, you the only thing that you can buy from us on our site that fits it, or think, are the screws in the pick guard. That's about it. <laughs> can you tell I'm me about sorry. the... Huh? Can you tell me about the pickups? Because the, the, from what I gather, there's quite a lot of... Uh, we've not heard the full story behind what's gone into the pickups yet. In, in terms of, isn't they're, you, they're, 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 uh, they're called 635, mm -hmm. as you would say. Yep. We say 335, you say 335. Yep. What that's about, I don't understand, but it's 63.5. It's in between a 63 pickup and a 64 pickup, and I think we got it. I mean, listen. <laughs> Sounds good. I, I, I was, as Sean says, there's bass in the treble, yeah. and there's treble in the bass. You've been practicing as well. No, I good haven't. Licks. Don't have. say that to me. It's good. Don't go there. It's good. I'm practicing. Um, maybe I, the guitars. Maybe. Ooh. I thought that you can't play solos on seven and quarter inch radius, can you? But I thought Machine Gun sounded pretty good, uh, and. Oh, what a dire straight. That was my. What was that uh, Sultan's of Swing? Uh, that was my Mythbuster, and and I thought what, in my what head. What about John Marisol's? What about Stuart Vonsol's? I mean, no, you I agree. Kidding me. But I had avoided buying a seven and a quarter inch radius fret. Well, not even buying, but like specking them for guitars in store because I just assumed <laughs> they said they're, they're just they're fine. I'm no, not no. even sure if you blindfold me, I could tell. They're only fine if the frets and the neck are dead level. Right. So that's if the, the issue. neck's not dead level and the frets aren't level, you're in trouble. Right. But I'm sorry. So is it seems like to be a, doing just fine? But my, I think my fingers curved when, when you know it, 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 when you set. But it's, mean, a, it's like a, a break, man. I mean, you know, it's nine and a half. Would you say that's like a safer 
radius to go well, if you're not sure. Nine and a half. No, but or just like a flatter radius fretboard. Is that almost like safer on other guitar brands where you haven't got to worry so much about? Um, we use ten. All the really old guitars from the other side of the fence that yeah. I have, are, are, they say they're 12, they're not, they're 10. Right. The scale length is 24.594. Yeah. That's what it is. 24 and 19 30 seconds. This guitar, these guitars were 25 and a half with a 7 and a quarter inch radius, and they're wonderful. Yeah. And I'm sorry, when you, when you get used to it, you go, oh, that's really nice. Yeah. So the, um, now I thought on the pickups though, yeah. obviously I appreciate you've gone for a, a tone that is somewhere between a 63 and a 64, hence the name. But things like the way the pole pieces seem to follow the radius of the neck, which they don't do on fenders. And well they really had a well G back then. Is that why? Yeah. So the well G, so even though we've gone to a plain G, no one's ever thought to address well, the... Well they have addressed it, they make them flat. But I, I tested it and it was important uh, that it was it, that it was curved, and I and also I wanted the same amount of uh, metal in the pickup. Um, so we we figured out the mass of all the different staggered stuff and made it the same. It's very cool. It's very cool. Do you want to just? Uh, I mean, we are fully we are fully wireless here. Do you want to show me some of the other stuff that we've got here that you're maybe particularly proud of? There's been more talk about this. Why would you want to bring that up? What, 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 all the other I mean, stuff. I mean the other guitars that yeah. we make that haven't gone away? Yes. Oh. Well, let's, oh, I mean, let's be oh, honest with you. Oh, oh. We could promote this all day. Oh, wait a minute. Let's day. be honest with me. Is that the yeah. beginning of a lie? We, no, we could promote <laughs> this you? all day. And the reality is it's going to be 18 months before. Okay, but you started asking me questions about this. No, I'm, I'm happy to sit and listen. I mean, we're going to do a clinic tonight for, for all these people, and they're going to have questions about That's it. That's true. Okay, well, let's answer the questions and get them out of the way. Look, we make... 75 core guitars a day. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, a year ago it was more like 53, okay? We're being extraordinarily careful. Most of what we're making are still the other guitars, and this is a new line for us. Um, I mean, look, last year, uh, two years ago, 594 made a big stink, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. now this thing's making a big stink, and uh, they named me the knife block at work. You know the big piece yeah. of wood in your kitchen where you put the knives in the hole of them? That was the piece of wood. That was the knife block. So you uh, and have, have you got another brand's name underneath each slot where the no, knife goes in? Is that, no, what, is that what you mean? No, 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 no. That's not cool. <laughs> that might make the that might make Wikipedia. Be careful. Look, I'm a guitar maker. If it was if it looked like a violin, nobody would have a problem. If I was making violins, I don't have a problem. Look, there are five distinct sounds on these guitars. And you got to be really careful about the formula because otherwise they don't yeah. sound right. We, we, we found... Oh, we made DC-3s. They're wonderful. We got the rights to re-record Hendrix and Freedom uh, from Experience Hendrix. And we used a DC-3. It sounded wonderful. DC-3s are selling off the yeah. eBay as fast as you can find them. So... If it makes you feel any better... Nobody gave me a hard we, time about that one. We, we found a picture from the middle of the 80s of Mark Knopfler with his red Pensasur strap yeah. that he decided he would use instead of his red yeah. strap. Yeah. And I don't think it even made like a footnote of a guitar article that he'd gone from one strap manufacturer to another manufacturer that made a guitar that resembled his strap. I can't bit. use that word. I know you can't. <laughs> and, and yet, and yet you, uh, you, you have uh, basically, uh, you've created like a hundred thousand pages of internet, more, a million pages so, of internet. So let me ask you this: it's When mad. you wrapped your hand around this neck, and when we sent it to the store, yep. what did you think? Now, don't, don't, don't sugarcoat it. What no. did you think? I mean, we had three of us played this guitar. Yeah. Every single one of us really liked it. We liked the feel. We immediately liked the the, the the sense that the intonation was completely nailed on. The sound is the kind of the the, the lower output Strat sound that if you know that I think most people associate with John Mayer and think that that's his sound, and it sounds absolutely great. I think there's a, there was a, as there will be with everyone, there were some of us that felt uh, 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 an affection for a more traditional brand, a different yeah, brand, yeah. and there was others that went, just went, I don't feel that affection and I'll just take the guitar on face value and it's an absolutely brilliant guitar. Um, none of us, interestingly, felt the need to go on the internet and rant after we played this. So, and I've never really understood why anyone would. I posted once on a forum, I'll never do it again. 
I will never do it. Maybe, maybe I can't say never. No, never say never. I, you know, do you read time, the comments? Do you actually read yeah, the comments? I, I, from it? time to time, I try to stay away from. The, the worst for me was when they went after me for scale length on Mark Tremonti's baritone guitar because it sounded unbelievable. And they were like, nah, you can't do it that way. I'm like, you're going to tell the guitar makers how to do it? Really? I mean, look, by the Internet's, by the internet's understanding, when Hendrix played Machine Gun D to D, it shouldn't have been a 25 inch in scale. It should have been at least 26 and a, and a half. But I thought machine gun sounded fine. And by the way, the gauge of strings was too light for what the internet thinks too. Yeah. I mean, and none of his pedals were true bypass. I mean, yeah. how on earth he well, managed to? Yeah, how I mean, he didn't. I, don't I even just know. have no idea. But he didn't get fried this day. Yeah. I mean, he should have been, to, just for that reason. I, I, <laughs> if, nowadays, yeah. But I was at the vintage guitar show. And there was a Tremonti baritone there. And we had a Sanzera amp, and we plugged it in. And the guy who was thinking about buying it jaw dropped. And, and we, a crowd started to, just us playing the guitar. And I went, that sounds great. The guy got his credit card out as fast as he possibly could, because he knew there was something there he wanted to take home, right? Maybe. And, we got, and we got fried for that. And I just don't buy it. I just don't mm. buy it. I mean, you can play D to D. On a 25 inch scale, it, look, there's two ways to do it. You can make the string longer or you can make the string bigger. But, you know. Uh, oh, man. I, I, I'm hoping that. You know, it sounds great. I'm sorry, it sounds good. It sounds good. great. I mean, one day people will just go, you know what? Until I've actually tried a guitar, I'm not going to. And that's not going to happen. No, you're probably all right. right. Now, hang on. It's when I walked unlike, in, you yeah. guys all offered me a reverb pedal to put in the yeah. loop of this because it needed reverb. I went, that amp doesn't need reverb. It sounds fine without reverb. <laughs> those pickups don't have different amounts of turns on them. They're all the same. Are they By all the, the way, same? They're all Yeah, you know why? Why? Because that's the way it should have been done. <laughs> Shouldn't have. You led me into that trap there, didn't you? Well, actually. Well, no, tell me, I, I, there was one question, and I, I tried to ask it, I think, about half an hour most ago. Most of these pickups sound it. like ice picks. I thought there was some other wizardry gone on there there is, in the pickups. There is. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Well, that's what I'm trying to get you to. I know. Tell me, tell me the bit that people can't copy. Turn, or a, just, turn a camera off. Oh, come on. The, just like, forget it. If you think I'm going to give you no, the just two years of work I did on these pickups to get them to sound beautiful without ice pick note on top, without overwinding them and all the other stuff, I'm not going to. What, what, really? No, I've, look, I, I, mean, I, I thought there might be something that you'd want right, to look, share. There's this long list on the internet mm. of all the things you do to make these pickups. You use this kind of magnet, you do this kind of length, you do this kind of wire, this kind of coating, these kind of turns, this is how you pot it. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. So the big old list. Two of them are dead wrong. Right. But that took a long time to figure out. See, and and you think I'm going to do that? Well, I just, I thought it, I The didn't... definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expect a different result. Yes. He wanted these things to sound beautiful. Did you watch his video? I did. You... The whole thing. Did it sound minutes. good? It sounds great. I, I, we, can we all, that? He we can all said. And he has an understanding of this. We, we all said we wished that video had come out kind of before all the retailers started doing their videos because it would have answered, it would have answered kind of like, a bucket load of questions. Uh, yeah, but all the comments on the internet is, is regardless of what they say, it's all, everybody's interested. Mm -hmm. What the hell's going on? You know, why? Somebody sent me a... You could have made that strap. Somebody had sent me an email said I, I farted in a space suit. I just said a bad word, sorry. I have to edit what that did one you out. say? I said you could have made that and then I said a word beginning with an S and I shouldn't have. <laughs> Why you, not? Well, you're, because I, it's not that, is it? So what, what, you could have made that guitar for any other artist on the planet yeah. than John Mayer. Yeah. And it would have had less than a quarter of the controversy around it. I'm not sure that's true. Oh, I think it is. Name another guitar player you could have made that for then. That Eric would have, Clapton. No, you're right. Okay. <laughs> Mark, I take that Mark back. Mark Knopfler. No, I don't know. Eric Clapton, maybe. People would have just said, if you'd done it for Eric Clapton, people would have just gone, you know. His whole back catalog. He's a wonderful is, guitar player. Oh, amazing! But people would have it, people would have gone. He's not going to do anything else on the guitar now that's better than what he's done. Whereas John may still. 
Look, you're right. John is front and center in social media. He knows yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. And there were, uh, when, when he finally posted the guitar, he was getting 1,000 likes a minute. <laughs> we were getting 10,000 in a day. A minute. Yeah. I mean, we'd never seen that's numbers him. like that's, this. That's Danish Pete. You, you see him so furiously pressing the button on his mobile phone. Why was he doing that? He loves John Mayer. Well, come well around, we both love John Mayer. And, and come on, see, come on. Everyone knows who Danish yeah, Pete is. Yeah, yeah, see, come on, come on around. See, there's somebody actually behind the camera. Yeah, what do you, what's a day, uh, uh, what, what's a day doing in, in, in England? I work for him. Get out of here. <laughs> you should hear him play this guitar. Here, come play. Play it. Come on. It's monstrous. Oh, come on, sit so down. Sit sit yeah, no, no, come on. You, yeah, yeah, you, you, uh, yeah, yeah. Here's a pick. I've got one here. Check this out. Oh, man. Can you read it? Why don't you tell him, why don't you tell him he's been practicing? <laughs> Gotta face the camera. Doesn't need a reverb pedal, does it? No, it doesn't. I think you like this guitar. Yeah, I like Thanks the amp. Yeah. Yeah, the amp's great. Yeah, okay. This is the setup we have. So, so that's what you wanted. You wanted yes. us to go online now. You're very Let kind. Me, can I show you something? Yes, please. Yes. Stick that over there. This. It's ridiculous. You oh. got to be kidding me. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's that's a, a nice piece of uh, a nice piece of timber. It's got beautiful. Look at the binding on the neck as well. Timber. That's what it's, it's called, isn't it? Timber. Tiger maple, curly maple. Oh, I like they've done the back plate out yeah, of the same wood and everything. Yeah, it's a marsh. So it's written on it. Look. Yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, it's Bernie's. It's no, it's going to be somebody who's showing up at this clinic when they leave tonight. How difficult is it to put? Binding on out of flame maple, where you've got a piece a of wood time. like this tiny. Took us a long time. Do you to like break out. like more than you managed to put so, on? So Paul, the, the director of private stocks here. Paul, how hard is it to bind the necks? It's terribly difficult. He says it's not it terribly not, difficult. It just takes a little time. Yeah. It looks, patience. Yeah. Patience. Skill level. That's stunning. Do you isn't have it? patience? No, none at all. None well, at all. I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. Thank you very much. I will take you around maybe some of these nice guitars. Thank you, Paul. You're a very nice man. Nah. Enjoy your stay in the UK. I've been practicing, have you? You have. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we're done. <laughs>